Hello, you are welcome. How to solve for x in this algebra problem? From when we have a over b or raised to power n, this we can write it as a raised to power n over b raised to power n. Then from here, this becomes 4x r square over x plus 3 r squared. Then plus here as well, we have 4x r squared. Then over x minus 3 r squared now equals to 32 from here. Then from what we have here, the SCM here, we have x plus 3 square multiplied by x minus 3 square. And when we use this to multiply it through, then using it to multiply on this side, we'll be left with 4x square into bracket x minus 3 square because x plus 3 square will have cancel x plus 3 square then plus here we will be left with 4x r square then into bracket x plus 3 r square then on this side we multiply that by 32 and we have 32 into bracket x plus 3 r square then also into bracket x minus 3 r squared then from here we can simplify further and what we have here becomes 16 x square here everything is being squared so 4 squared as 16 we have 16 x square then into bracket x minus 3. Let's leave this as r square. Then also plus here we also have 16x square. Then also into bracket x plus 3 r square. Now equals to 32 into bracket x plus 3 r squared times x minus 3 r squared then what we have from here we can divide through by 16 then here remain x square into bracket x minus 3 r square then plus also here we are left with x square into bracket x plus 3 r squared now equals to here remain 2 into bracket x plus 3 all square times x minus 3 all square. And from here, we have x square comma here. So let's factor that out and this becomes x square into bracket. Here we have x minus 3 all squared. Then plus x plus 3 all squared close bracket. Then this side we have 2 into bracket x plus 3 squared times x minus 3 squared. And here we can expand this. And also from what we have here, when we have a raised to power n times b raised to power n here the same thing as a times b or raised to power n and what we have here when we expand this give us x square into bracket here we have x square minus 6x then plus 3 square which is 9 then plus also the expansion here we have x square plus 6x then plus 3 square which is also 9 close bracket then which is equals to here this now become 2 
into bracket x plus 3 then multiply by x minus 3 now all squared and from here this also follows from when we have a plus b times a minus b which will give us a square minus b squared that is we can rewrite this as s square minus 3 square which is s square minus 9 and here we have minus 8x cancel plus 8x then what is left inside we have x square into bracket x square plus x square here that's 2x square then plus 9 plus 9 that's 18 then now equals to here become 2 into bracket x square minus 9 from there and here as well we can factor 2 out of this bracket and this becomes 2 times x square that's 2 x square then we are left with x square then plus 9 from this bracket then equals to also we have 2 into bracket x square minus 9 also from this bracket and don't forget we have a square up here so sorry this square will be there excuse me please so we have square here then which implies from here that here we can divide through by 2 that is 2 here we cancel out then we are left with x square into bracket x square plus 9 then equals to x square minus 9 or square from here then we can expand this by x square then this becomes x raised to power 4 plus 9x square now on this side the expansion here give us x raised to power 4 minus 2 times x squared times 9 that's minus 18 x square then plus 9 square which is 81 that is here yeah, when we subtract x raised to power 4 from both sides this and this we cancel out then we are left with 9 x square equals to minus 18 x square plus 81 then taking minus 18 x square here become plus and this becomes 9 x square plus 18 x square equals to 81 from here and this can be added together and we have 27 x square equals to 81 then divide both sides by 27 then here this cancel out which implies we have x square equals to 87 81 over 27 here that's 3 and taking the square root on both sides we have square root of x square equals to square root of 3 and from here square we cancel square roots and x equals to plus or minus root 3 from here so here we have the solution to this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget these steps and also subscribe for more videos also put your comment in the comment section and thank you for watching See you next class and bye for now.